Hey guys, so here again a beautiful problem is uh, here. We are here with a good problem. Now this question is looking very simple that uh, x 7 raised to power x plus 8 equals to 8 raised to power 7 uh, x plus 7. So what's going to be the value of x? So here undoubtedly, undoubtedly we'll have to go with a logarithm. But before that, let's try solving this. So you'll apply a formula. So say for example, if you have 7 raised to power m plus n. So it is written as 7 raised to power m into 7 raised to power n. That is the simple exponential formula. So using this, when we are here with 7 raised to power x plus 8, so this can be written as 7 raised to power x into 7 raised to power 8. And similarly equals to, this is written 8 raised to power x plus 7. So this can be written as 8 raised to power x into 8 raised to power 7. So I'll take this one and this one together. So we are here with 7 raised to power x into 7 raised to power 8 equals to 8 raised to power x into 8 raised to power 7. Now I'll send all the variable term to one side and the constant term to the one side. So let's send this 8 to this side and 7 to this side. So I'll write 7 raised to power x divided by 8 raised to power x equals to 8 raised to power 7 divided by 7 raised to power 8. Now for these two terms you can very easily write 7 by 8 whole raised to power x. But here you means I would not be able to write it because both the powers are not same. So now what we'll have to do, we'll have to take logarithm. And why we are taking logarithm? Because we have a property in logarithm that if we have log a, which is raised to power m, okay? So then this argument's power comes to the multiplication. So it becomes m times log a. So I'll take logarithm both side. I'll write log of 7 by 8 whole raised to power x equals to log of 8 raised to power 7 divided by 7 raised to power 8, okay? So using this property that I showed, x will come to this side and hence we'll have this as x times log 7 by 8 that is equals to log of 8 by 7 uh, sorry 8 raised to power 7 divided by 7 raised to power 8. Now here again we'll apply a property. What is the property? Property is property is that we have log of a to the power uh, sorry a divided by b. So we can write it as log of a minus log of b okay log of a minus log of b so this can be written as now in the same fashion i'll do this for the right hand side part so we have got x into log 7 divided by 8 that is equals to so I'll, I'll write it here so we have got x times log now this is 7 by 8 okay so 7 by 8 can be written as log 7 minus log 8 because just now we have seen this property that whenever we have a division we we simply subtract it and equals to similarly here in the right hand side log 8 to the power 7 divided by log 7 to the power 8 so i'll write it log 8 to the power 7 minus log 7 to the power 8 now this power will come in the multiplication here also this power will come in the multiplication so i'll write finally as 7 log 8 minus 8 log 7 and this here we have x times log 7 minus log 8 so finally, this will get to the denominator and we'll get x is equals to 7 times log 8 minus 8 times log 7. And hence we have got the value as log 7 minus log 8 and that's the value. So although this was a logarithm, completely logarithm based question, but I hope you liked it. And if that is the case, do let me know in the comment box. Do like the video if you like it and share this with your friends as well. Okay, so that was all for this video. See you in the next video with a new question and a new methodology to solve it. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. So guys, I hope you loved and enjoyed the problem. And if that is the case, so I would like to give you one more problem as a challenge which you should solve and send me the answers. What do you say? So if, if you are ready, here is the problem. In this problem, what do you have to do? You have to solve this question and write the answers in the comment box. If I get a lot of right answers, then I'm very, very happy. I'll be very happy to see all of you solving these challenging questions. And in case if you're not able to solve, just write down in the comment box that sir, I'm not able to solve it. Kindly help or kindly guide. I'll be very happy and uh, based on the responses given by you guys in the comment box, I'll be bringing a solution video for this particular question in the next session. Okay. So I hope you loved and enjoyed this video. So if you, if that is the case, please write down in the comment box, your valuable feedback. Do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such beautiful contents. See you in the next video. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.